finding your references the very first thing you should do is finding your references for this course i am using this concept art of wacko character from the animated series animaniacs so i would have to find multiple references not just the front if you are able to try to find the reference from all the sides in every category of art either it is a 2d or 3d your first priority should be to improve your observation skills and by that i mean observe your references from all angles try to see the picture for like 5 minutes use your imagination to figure out what brushes i will use to block out this part what type of primitive i will be using to block out the shirt or the hands my preparing your mind before beginning the sculpting will make your process a little bit easier your brain is a super computer try to use it properly and you will never regret it soft yards for using the references I use a small free application called Pure Ref. It lets you stack multiple images at once. You can also lock the app and make it appear always at front by selecting this option. You can also use Spotlight feature in ZBrush for the references. Whichever you prefer, it will work. But make sure you use the references because it is important. For the actual references, I am using from multiple sources. But my main concept is from Dana Franklich. So gather your references, use the prerequisite folder, download Pure Ref because now we will begin sculpting this character in ZBrush. So before we start sculpting, I need to address my UI. This is a custom-made UI. You can download it from the prerequisite folder. I am going to be using this UI and my own hotkeys. Note. My UI will work only in Zebra 2022 and above. Now, what is a blockout? Blockout is a very simple form of the character. If we divide the character in simple forms, it will be based off with some primary shapes. Any complex shapes and design will always have some kind of primitive shapes. You just have to spend some time and find it out. Now, I use sphere for a blockout process. This is a default zebra sphere, and if I press Shift F. it will open up the polyframe mode the density is very high for my taste and i usually use spheres which i have no topology for example if i press w it will open a 3d gizmo tool by clicking on this gear icon you could see all these primitives clicking each of them will convert the existing tool with this one i will click on polysphere and you will see it converted the default sphere to this new low poly sphere which has nice topology on it also i will hit d to turn the dynamic subdiv on i normally turn on dynamic subdiv while in a blockout process so now to begin i will use move brush and insert imm brushes insert imm brush will let you add primitives in a single sub tool it's fast and effective for the blockout process and with the move brush i will just use move brush to just move all the sub tools together with both these tools i will block out the entire character and will be using smooth brush as well Now I'll be doing the same steps again and again which is using the move brush and smooth brush. This is why I have increased the video speed a little bit so it doesn't get boring. Sculpting is a long process and sometimes doing it in real time can be tedious to watch. I am thinking about how will I be blocking out the head? How will I be blocking out the torso, cape, arms and legs? The benefit of this method is that I'm really carefree All I need to do is use move brush, change proportions as I see fit and by blocking out the whole character first then sculpting will give you a boost in confidence. It will make you feel good like you have actually made the foundation first. Then you just have to fill in the details. Self confidence is very important no matter how complex the design is and if you keep things simple during the blockout process it will be easier for you to approach and understand the design you are working on. Each and every part of the model should be blocked out with simple primitives. I never jump into merging all these parts unless I am satisfied completely with my blockout. This concept is very complex. If I Google Wacko character, I would see many different references. Each reference is in 2D, so it was very hard for me to predict how this character would look like in 3D. Thanks to the 3D reference by Dana Franklich, I know exactly what it could look like in 3D. but despite being a 3d render i did not got any side view or top view from her work that's why i have gathered more references from google and just used my imagination to think what this part of the body will look like in 3d now i am almost halfway done with the block out i will let the time lapse run its course and be back soon it is very important that you follow along with me just get those primitive and start blocking out
Now then, I have blocked out every major shape of the character. This is very important because I can see where the character is going and it is giving me enough confidence to continue. Spend much time as possible at this stage which is the block out. This is the very first mistake every beginner make which is they jump into details too fast. Of course there would come a time you would jump into detail but making this stage better is the most essential and important part of the design. People read silhouette first and not the details. So maintain the block out, try to make the silhouette better, create primary shapes, just basic shapes, maintain its clean contours. Also the shape should not be lumpy, block out clean shapes, smooth out the forms and look to the model not just from one angle but every single angle. It is 3D. You have to think like a 3D artist all the time. And this is it. In the next video, we will continue our sculpting. How to merge all these parts clean as possible. If you haven't, I recommend you check out my store. Your support makes a difference. I will see you on the next video. Until then, take care.